Let's jump into the print module now. Assuming that I wanna print this, I'm gonna click on print. Now, once in the print module, the first step is to set up your, your page and your print settings. So to set up our page, we're gonna click on page setup here on the bottom left-hand corner. Make sure that your printer is selected. In my case, it's Epson P800. And then paper size, I'm gonna select US letter. And on the Epson, you have a choice of selecting how the paper is gonna be fed into the printer, whether it's gonna be fed in the sheet feeder or the front feeder, which is a fine art paper. In order to determine that, uh, which kind of paper you need, you need to know what the media setting is for the paper that you wanna use. The fastest way to find that out is to go to the Canson Infinity website. Then I'm gonna select ICC profiles, my printer brand, which is Epson, my printer model, which is the P800. And when I scroll down here, you'll see Rag Photographique, the paper that I wanna print on, and this chart here will tell you the appropriate media setting on Epson's printer to use for this paper. And so, in this case, you see it's Velvet Fine Art. So you must select Velvet Fine Art as the media setting on the Epson P800 to print on Rag Photographique and get the best results. If you had a Canon printer, for example, you would do the same thing and you would figure out what the Canon, the best media setting for Canon would be. Or uh, you could also install the uh, AM1 file on, onto a Canon printer, which would actually set it up uh, properly for Canson Infinity paper. And Canson Infinity does offer AM1 files for Canon printers. So back to Lightroom. Uh, media setting is going to be Velvet Fine Art, and you can see here that for feeding a fine art paper, I must select the front fine art feed on the Epson P800. So I'm going to select here front fine art feed, US letter 8.5 by 11, hit OK. Second step is to click on print settings and set up the printer. I'm going to click on layout and drop down to printer settings. Uh, media type, once again, this is where you enter the media type, which we just checked before, and that is Velvet Fine Art. If you do not select the proper uh, feed on the Epson in the page setup, you will not be able to select here Velvet Fine Art. All of these papers will be grayed out, and so that's how you know that you have to select the front feed on the Epson to make sure that you can select the right paper, which is Velvet Fine Art here. Print mode and color management are off, and the reason for that is because we are not going to let the printer control the color, we're going to use an ICC profile. And because we're using an ICC profile, uh, the software, in this case Lightroom, will control the color and will, and will handle the color management for us. And so the color mode needs to be off, no color management from the printer side. All color management is being handled by the software. Output resolution, once again, you can set this to your preference. I like uh, using the highest resolution setting on the printer. I hit save. Right, and then basically now all I need to do is to set up the page for our print. So I'm gonna go back to page setup and set this to horizontal. And then I'm going to, uh, in Lightroom here, we have a bunch of panels on the right that allow us to lay out our page. And first thing is I'm just, I just want one cell, not two cells the way you see them now, one cell. So I'm gonna reduce my page grid from two to one. So one column and one row, that gives us one cell to print in. And then there's two ways to determine your print size. One way is to use the margins. Another way is to use the cell size. If we make our margins as small as possible, right in here, and then we make our cell size as large as possible, that's the largest print that we can make onto this piece of paper. Now in general, I recommend always leaving a border around your prints because that gives you space to handle the print, to hold it in your hands, and you don't have to worry about oils getting onto the printed part of the page itself. Also, if you mat the print, you have space for the mat. So I'm gonna set up a margin of one inch on the left, one inch on the right, one inch in the top, one inch in the bottom. Also, one thing to check in Lightroom is above the layout panel in the image settings panel, there is a checkbox here called zoom to fill. And what this does is that this does an automatic crop on the image to fill in your cell size. I want this off because I don't want the image to be cropped at all. This can be very useful. You can use this in a lot of creative ways, but in this case, I want to print my actual image. So I'm going to uncheck zoom to fill. And now you can see uh, my image uncropped and this is the size that it's going to print on the paper. If I decide that I want smaller margins, Maybe I can set my left to 
0.75, right to 0.75, top to 0.75, bottom to 0.75, and now I've got a slightly bigger image on my piece of paper. What's nice about this is that everything is visual. You can confirm that this is the way you want it to look, and it's easy to move things around to make it larger, smaller. Perhaps I want a larger base at the bottom, so a larger uh, margin at the bottom so that the image has a little bit more of a foundation, then I can decrease my bot or increase my bottom margin, I'm sorry. And now you see that I can visually see whether I like that or I don't. And then the last panel that needs to be addressed and is the most important one is the print job panel, which determines the, the actual file that you send to the printer. In terms of print resolution, which is our first setting here, uh, you always wanna check what your native print resolution is first. And so I'm gonna leave this unchecked. And you can see here that for the size of the print that I've chosen, which is nine by six and three quarter inches approximately, my native resolution is 510 PPI. Now, one of the strategies for using uh, printers is to use the printer's native resolution. Each of the two manufacturers, Canon and Epson, uh, their printers use a native print head resolution. For the Canon, it's 300 PPI. For the Epson, it's 360 PPI. And depending on what your native resolution is for the size that you want to print, you can either use the printer's native resolution or if you have, uh, if you're high enough above that, far enough above that, you can double the printer's native resolution. So in this case, my original image is 510 PPI. And so because I'm printing to the Epson, I'm actually going to print this image at 720 PPI. That's double the printer's native resolution, which is 360. And my own testing and testing by many, many other printing experts has revealed that this actually delivers uh, superior results to any other way of managing print resolution. So general guidelines are, number one, your native resolution should probably never fall below 180 for an image. That means that if it falls below 180, you probably don't have enough resolution to print that image at whatever size you've selected. Number two, if your native resolution falls uh, 360 or below, and below would be as long as it doesn't go below 180. Uh, 360 or below for an Epson, you can print it at 360. If it falls significantly above 360, 400 plus, then you can print it at 720. And the same uh, would apply for Canon. So if you're at 300 or below for a Canon, then you can print at 300. If you're significantly above 300, you can print it at 600. And all I can suggest is to experiment and try these settings and you'll see how great the results you'll achieve. And that has to do with the interpolation pipeline in Lightroom, which is really, really good. It does a great job of sending a clean uh, file to your printer. So I'm gonna choose 720 here. The next setting here is print sharpening. And as I mentioned before, you can set this to the media type. And because I'm printing to rag photographique, the media type is matte. You can set the print sharpening at low, medium, or high. And I find standard to be low, medium, or low, standard, or high. I'm sorry. I find standard to be, uh, to give me the best results. You can also check here 16-bit output, which means that if you're printing raw files, which are above 8 bits, you want to send all the bit depth that you possibly can to the printer. And so I'm going to select 16-bit output here. And then finally, color management. And this should be set to the profile for the paper that you've uh, that you're going to print on. And so once again, I'm going to select uh, RAG Photo 310 for the P800. And here's where you can set your rendering intent. And in our soft proofing, uh, before we decided that relative would be, uh, was the best rendering intent that, cl that most closely matched our original image. And there you have it. So these are the settings that uh, at a minimum allow you to send the best color managed file to your printer to achieve the best results possible.